there is going to be a peace agreement signing between the alpha leaders and government of india hamara bhai on 96 mein to mana guwahati mein encounter ka dehan ho people are still attracted towards the ideology yes. people still think that alpha is as an idea that is a solution to all problems of the world historic day for assam there is going to be a peace agreement signing between the alpha leaders and government of india in delhi on the december 29 sources close to uh, the new indian have revealed that this agreement is going to be signed uh, by senior alpha leaders who are already there in the national capital at around 5 pm in the evening and we can also expect the home minister as well as assam chief minister to be present there This is indeed a big day for Assam as well as for the Northeast. As you know that the militancy was on the rise in the 90s as well as in the early 2000s, and Alpha was one of the top groups that carried the movement, that anti-India and a separate state of Assam movement, and that led to a lot of violence in the previous in the yester years. But this. agreement that is going to be signed will not be just about uh, the surrendered cadres it will be also about rehabilitation of the surrendered cadres and many other uh, clauses will be on that uh, that will decide uh, the political destiny of assam as well we are getting to know that the constitutional safeguards of assamese people will also be on the agenda as per sources so these kind of points might be on the peace agreement that are going to be done with the alpha cadres senior leaders of the alpha such as anup setia is already on the national capital and we saw a delegation of alpha leaders with the likes of arobindo rajkua sasha choudhury and others going to the delhi this agreement will be a big 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 development as far as the efforts by the assam government as well as the central government to end militancy in northeast already 700 plus people cadres are involved in this pro tox alpha section and they are going to be rehabilitated by this very peace agreement the new indian team visited chandrapur one of those areas that was affected badly by the insurgency during the 90s and the early 2000s the villagers shared their ordeal about their lives and how it was affected by the insurgency हमारा भाई में उन्नीस सौ इक्यानबे सन में 1991 में तो उन्होंने अल्फा में गया कोई पूरे पुरियाल का जो भी पुरियाल है कुछ बातचीत नहीं करा तुम निजा मतलब से गया तो तो हमारा दुख में था तो अभी तो गया उन्होंने धर सौ सौ सात साल अल्फा में रहा और और मैंने नाइन्टी सिक्स में तो मैंने गुवाहाटी में एनकाउंटर के देहन हो मैंने अल्फा में नहीं जाना चाहिए और में रहो पुरियाल में समय दो पीसफुली होना चाहिए ये जो हिमंत विषा अभी जो अल्फा का अल्फा से जो साइन किया जो शांति के लिए तो ये बहुत अच्छा काम किया है इसीलिए हम हिमंत विश्व शर्मा को और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी को हम बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद दिया है ये हम चाहता है तो पीस मिला है अभी 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 सुबह शांति से हम लोग शांति से रहेगा अभी ऐसे हम फील किया है हम ये पीस एग्रीमेंट होने के बाद आपका गाँव वासी के लिए कितना अच्छा बात हुआ है क्या सोचते हैं ये तो बड़ा अच्छा बात हो गया लेकिन मैं क्या बोलूँगा अभी हम अच्छा नहीं है और आप लोग आप लोग का ये क्योंकि टूरिस्ट जगह है तो ये एग्रीमेंट होने के बाद और ज्यादा अच्छा होगा क्या हाँ और ज्यादा हो हो जाएगा और गांव में और डेवलप हो जाएगा there is going to be a signing uh, signing uh, you know of the uh, documents by for the peace agreement between alpha and the state government and the, within the presence of the central government i think this is will be a, will be a landmark achievement because i feel this was the main thing uh, of uh, bone of contentions for the youth of the assam and right now if the uh, you know the documents are signed and peace accord is taking place i feel the youth will get new empowerment a belief in the central government and the state government that bjp government led by pradhan mantri narendra modi ji amit saji and himanta biswa sharma ji is thinking for the peace and all round development of assam and india
and uh, thanks to the government of india also one of the key aspects of this peace agreement is the rehabilitation of the former cadres time and again the rehabilitation of the former cadres not just related to alpha but even other organizations such as the mdfb nlfb have been done in assam as well as in the northeast and tomorrow signing will be very crucial as far as the uh, agreement where they talk about the financial assistance as well as the rehabilitation program the assam chief minister as well as the uh, dgp of assam gp singh has been uh, trying to uh, rehabilitate uh, the cadres who had left for the jungles they are coming back uh, recently four cadres came back from the jungles of myanmar and they came back here they surrendered and they were offered uh, greetings by the uh, dgp itself so there has been an attempt done by the assam government facilitate those who are being left out in the jungle but the key question tomorrow will be what will be uh, in the agreement for those cadres who already came back there it is estimated that 700 cadres are there with the pro tox faction that is in discussion in discussion with the uh, union government so their future will also be a, an impact on that particular record and lastly when very importantly a uh, forest bolua has been uh, has refused to participate in the ongoing peace talks and as such he has been on the large so uh, alpha i has been separated and the uh, faction that is in talks is the alpha pro talks section so what will be his stand on this will be also very crucial but on a on a last week uh, this uh, agreement will be very important for assam's development in the future as the issue of alpha peace agreement signing is doing rounds that the leaders are already there camping in delhi and they are about to sign a peace agreement with the center we are speaking to few of the few people who have seen the uh, insurgency and militancy in the northeast with us joining is rajiv bhattacharya who is a renowned author on of about his research and travels uh, especially about the alpha camps that he had visited uh, during his journalism days and we are going to speak to him regarding uh, this matter uh, first of all uh, thank you for joining with us uh, we are seeing that uh, there is going to be a peace agreement signing that everyone is talking about with the alpha leaders uh, you have been covering the alpha issue say, ever since uh, the militancy was at its peak and now we have we, the government claims that there is a sense of normalcy that has happened in regarding the issue how significant do you see this uh, this this agreement signing that is said to be happening uh, to tomorrow when well, you see this agreement is one step towards peace well although the government has been saying that there is normalcy it's true that insurgency related incidents have drastically reduced over the past one decade but the issues have not been addressed and the government has a notorious record of not fulfilling its commitments so this accord by and large i would say it's one step towards peace it is a very welcome development but very positive development what are your observations because you covered insurgency back in the 2019s and now as you are still covering it what are your observation as far as the uh, youths are concerned the mindset of this concerned the artistry affected to the ideology that pushed them to go to the camps because you have visited the camps in myanmar and other remote areas do you think that kind of mindset still uh, exists here sir as i have said the issues have not fizzled away mm. alpha is an idea mm. okay as one famous academic had once said alpha is more powerful as an idea than as an insurgent outfit yes. this idea still persists yeah. the fact that assam has been exploited nobody can deny that yes okay now very occasionally we hear people crossing the border and join going to myanmar so the idea is still there even after the accord is signed it's not that people going to the camp would come to an end there might be people people are still attracted towards the ideology people still think that alpha is as an idea that is a solution to all problems of society yeah. that idea still persists in the minds of people to a lesser or greater degree you go to eastern assam the idea is more as you come to a central western assam the idea may be more 
less embedded in the minds of the people. For such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The New Indian, by clicking on the bell icon. Also, follow us on the social media handles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Koo.